Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between. And this is part 72, how to paint leathery wings on models. So it's going to be a lot of fun today. We're going to paint some leather, uh, both in appearance and texture, on this Tyranid's Gargoyle. Since he has the, really the leathery bat wings that we're going for. Uh, this is opposed to like the angelic wings with the feathers, and I'll be showing that in a future video uh, in a couple of different methods. As I said, today it's going to be these wings that have uh, had washer already applied to them. But we're going to use four different colors today. XV88 for the foundation. Uh, Raycon Flesh Shade to provide some skin tones. Ungor Flesh, which is the mid-tone skin tone. And a really light dusting of Screaming Skull to give it some texture. So of course we'll start off with XV88. We're going to take it and add it into our palette. Give it a good shake. And add a little bit into our palette. You want it as nice and thin since we're going to be using a lot of coats today. You want to just, I like to thin it down slightly with some medium. And that way you get it to a nice thinner consistency which will go on the model nicely. Um, it's already been it's already been primed, but I'd recommend a gray primer if you're doing this from, from uh, just straight from priming to the wings color. I'd probably recommend a gray or a white. You can even use it, go over a black as well. Any of the colors really, because XV88 is a great dark brown and will go over most of these colors with uh, relative ease. And then I just quickly and carefully applied it to the entire wing surface of the model with a nice brush with a nice uh, point to it. Take my time, get a nice thin coat. Now, if it was thin in a couple areas, so I just did a quick second coat of a couple certain areas just to make it a nice, consistent coverage over the entire surface of the wing. As you can see, they're quite nice and have some great edging to them, so they're quite easy to paint. So essentially, I'm just cutting in all the, uh, the white parts of the body. And this is a great foundation color for leather since it's a, it's a mid-tone brown, it has a little bit of red in it, so it's a, a great mimic color for leather. But of course then for the next step we'll uh, really just put in some skin tones of that old leathery appearance into it using the shade. So now that XV88 is done, we took Reclin Flesh Shade and I just uh, put it over the entire surface of the wing. And the great thing about Reclin Flesh Shade is it's a reddish brown since it's a skin tone essentially. So this will really, as I said, add that injection of, of flavor into the um, into the wing and give it that reddish hue um, that's very much associated with with leather since leather is just really old you know, hide. Of, uh, animals so it's gonna really add that uh, that color into the recesses and then we're just gonna build it right back up using various uh, dry brushings I'm just gonna do a single coat of Reclam Flesh it tends to be actually pretty strong of, a, of all the shades it's one of the stronger ones so you, I just do a single application into the entire surface of the wing And of course, let it completely dry. And after it's dry, as you can see, it has that nice reddish hue in the recesses, and that's kind of where we're going for now. It's time to build up the brown and then more skin tones as well. So I took XV88 once again, and I just did a very light dry brushing along the center parts of the wing, leaving the recesses, the Raikland flesh shade areas. It's going to rebuild as to the browns back up on the wings, and that way that nice combination of the browns and the red tones are really going to create that leathery appearance. And plus, the great thing about, air, uh, about uh, dry brushing in this case is the textured effect that results from dry brushing, and that is also synonymous with the leathery texture. So it's, it's great to have that dry brush texture and the grit of the brush being put onto the miniature because uh, it gives that realistic leathery texture is what we're going for for these wings. Mm -hmm. 
am almost done. As you can see now, there's a great tone in the recesses. Now it's time to add a little more of a skin tone feel to it. So we're going to take the mid-tone skin tone from, uh, from GW, and it's best to go to flash. And we're just going to repeat this dry brush. We're going to focus more central on the wings and then the one the two wings that are more centered in the model we're going to start at the very uh, the bottom and work our way upwards towards the the arms themselves so, so for these parts we're just going to focus more on the center part with each dry brush we're going to focus more central on the wings for all the other sections the outer more sections the the three on each side and then for the more central sections we're going to start at the bottom work our way upwards each time building hues up as we go and the great thing about the dry brushing as I said and when with each successive dry brushing uh, the textures will mix and the brush strokes will mix so you get that dusted appearance over dusted appearance and it really does create that old hide look and I know there's a lot of layers but this is a great uh, approach if you're going to be doing batch painting for example you can just dry brush a bunch at a time with each color shade them all and uh, just keep going each step at a time and it really does save a lot of time with the dry brushings as you see just building up the tones in the mid part of the wings and after that color now we're going to go to a very very light it's almost an off-white it's such a light brown and this is just to add that extra uh, texture to the wings focus more on the very center part of each part of the wing as you can see, it just lightens it up, and it's a great blend of colors that we're going for now. Uh, as you can see, it's just it's, it's a great realistic change of tones from the deep recesses, which are the XV88s, all the way up to the screaming bells, since we're just doing successive dry brushings. Obviously, the parts, the very edges of the wings, they'll be the most uh, light parts of the wings with the screaming bell. And that's it. So after all these steps, we have a nice leathery with both worn out texture and look to it uh, for the wings. And in a future video, we'll cover an angelic wings with feathers. But it's not a very hard to approach. And uh, with a few colors, you can really accomplish a really nice effect on the wings. So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. And stay tuned for next week's episode, part 73, which is just around the corner. Next Monday as always, but if you don't want to wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel, where not only we get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes, you get to see over 60 start to finish painting tutorials, an Airbrush 101 series, battle reports, face-off episodes, just some awesome war gaming content. So go ahead and check out the warp. I think you'll love it. So thank you as always for watching. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.